Queensland's outlawed bikey gangs have launched their own legal action, lodging a High Court challenge against the government's tough new laws. The appeal is being led by a Hells Angels member, willing to break his club's code of silence. Proudly wearing his colours, Stefan Kushborski is the new face of the bikey battle against the government. I came to Australia with my family in the 1980s from a totalitarian system from communist Poland. I want to live in a free society where I'm judged for what I do, not who I associate with. His name is now on the appeal lodged, challenging the constitutional validity of the anti-bikey laws. These laws, far from targeting members of motorcycle clubs, are targeting, targeting everybody in Queensland. Guided by a PR firm, the expensive legal campaign is being funded from across the state. A lot of the general public are targeted, so they're, they're chipping in, uh, funding things, uh, a lot of mums and dads, um, and of course motorcycle clubs. Of course criminal enterprises would seek to keep their criminal operations of extortion uh, and standover tactics and drug production and distribution go. The papers have now been lodged and the bikies await their day in the High Court in Canberra. Best case scenario, that will be around the middle of the year. Until that time, all existing cases being tried under the legislation will continue to proceed. Cases like Sally Couthers, the librarian mum charged after sharing a drink with her bikey fiancé and friend. I'm highly stressed and... It's, it's, it's horrifying. It's horrifying. And the ongoing Gold Coast bikey brawl saga. Today, two accused in that case, trying to vary their bail conditions, attempted to serve the Premier with a notice to appear as a witness. Hopefully Mr Newman can help them out and turn up at court on Friday. A Premier's spokesperson confirmed he would not. Joel Dry, Nine News.